Today's show is pre recorded. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all don't know y'all better act somebody. Hat on, hat on, suit on, on. on. looking like a trap dog, giving them all. Just like a million bucks, but I'm things in its cup. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell me who could it be but Steve Harvey? Oh, yeah. Everybody out there listening to me. Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Steve Harvey. Put your hands together. Oh, Steve Harvey. Oh, Steve Harvey. Oh, Steve Harvey. Oh, Steve Y'all listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only Steve Harvey. Man, oh man, got a radio show. Yeah, I do. God's so big to me, man. I just have to tell you about it. I can't help it. It's rather obvious to me how big, how good God is. He's absolutely tremendous. He's off the chain. You know, man, uh, I wanted to share something with you today. You know, uh, if you out there, start your mission today. Why don't we all decide together? Better yet, let's just kill that because you don't. That just individually. Look, you listening. Everybody's got something that's that's on the table that they haven't yet attacked yet. What are you waiting for? Start your mission today. Stop the procrastination now. And if you and if you allow plastic, uh, excuse me, and if you allow procrastination to set in, then that that. That allows then, which is a weakness, you know, but that allows the devil then to just really do his thing because an idle mind is the devil's playground. So if you ain't working on your goals, dreams, aspirations or visions, you just uh, you just waking up, seeing how today going to go or the devil. He got plenty for it for you to do. See, but if you get your mind right on your goal and your focus and your purpose, then you can go on about your business. Then when the distraction comes, you can catch yourself. Now, that don't mean you ain't going to fall privy or fall prey to some of your distractions because you will. But you will have a goal in mind, an aspiration that makes you go, hold on, man. I got to stay focused here because what I really want, where I'm really trying to go, the thing that I'm really after, this new little uh thing that's being introduced this don't fit into the equation man let me keep it moving or you may step off the line for a little while you know like i said yesterday the thing about god is he's so forgiven that if you get out of line he'll hold your place See, that's the real cool thing. A lot of people will do that for you, too. Like I said, if you're at the movie theater or you're at the amusement park and you're in a line and you forget something, if you politely ask the person behind you, hey, man, I got to run to my car, I left something, would you hold my place? Most people will say, fine, yeah, go ahead. And when you come back, they don't have a problem. See, your problem is, is you want to get out the line, go do something, then come back and just get up in the line further up than you were or cut somebody. Now you got a problem because, see, everybody looking at you now like, oh, whoa, partner, where you come from? You know, the lines start back here. But, see, the thing with God is God don't do that. God don't say the lines start back here. God holds your place. When you make a mistake and you fall off the line, God holds your place. But if you ain't got no dreams, aspiration, if you ain't got no place, what he holding for you? 
See, I mean, he, he got a place for you, but you got to come to him. See, some people, if well, here, here's what I'm saying. If you got a goal, an aspiration, a dream, and you fall off track momentarily, you can get back to that. Because God know where you left off. Now, you may have to accomplish a few more things since you stopped for a long period of time, but God know where you left off. You can get back on track. I Look, man, this dream of being on TV since I was a kid, it got off track now. It got off track. I just kept it as one of the dreams. And in some real dark moments when it looked like it wasn't going to happen, all I was hanging on to was just the hope that one day it could. But that's what faith is really about. Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. But faith gives you the confidence to keep hoping, man. Sometimes it just keep hope alive. Sometimes you heard Jesse Jackson say it, just keep hope alive. Sometimes, man, it's just the hope. I was hanging on the hope. And I'm talking about when it got real ugly and funky out there for me, when it looked like I wasn't going to ever make it. And all of the facts was in and everything pointed in the direction. You're not going to make it. You done really messed up this time. Then I sat there and I just hung on to the hope. But man, that's what I'm saying. If you got a dream or an aspiration or vision or something, when you fall off track and you want to go get back in line, God holds your place. He knew I was off track and out of line, but he said, okay, here's where we stop. You want to be on TV. Now, when you get it together and you quit tripping and you come and you turn to me, I'm going to hold your place, put you back in line. Then we go and finish the journey. That took me a lot longer to get here than I wanted to, but then it was necessary because I needed all of them mishaps to happen to me along the way. So when I got on the radio one day, which I did not see coming, Steve Harvey got a radio show, y'all. That's why I say it every day. See, because of this radio show that I I didn't see coming. Now I have stories to tell. And I can tell you about me better than I can tell you about anybody. And I done been through enough where it's relatable, where enough people can go, man, that happened to me. Appreciate you saying that. That's what it was for. See, I get it now. See, at the time, though, I didn't, I didn't like what was happening to me. At the time, I was really in total disagreement with God on a lot of stuff he was pulling off on me. But in essence, I was really pulling it off on myself. But through his grace and mercy, he kept me through all of my mistakes, all my bad decisions, all my miscalculations, all my misfires, all the times I knowingly stepped out there and did wrong. He forgave me. He said, because, man, if you ever come to me, I have a plan for you that is going to be far and above. It will supersede everything you've ever dreamed of. That's what I did. I just got sick of me, good and sick of me. And I turned it over to God and then God started working. And here I am today. Now, is he through with me yet? Nope. Have I arrived yet? Nope. But guess what? The journey is cool. And then you know what I found out? That's kind of what it's like in life. If you don't walked off the cliff in life and you ain't got no God in your life, it's like not having a parachute. You step off the cliff and you just free falling. We all now that fall gets you closer to the grave, right? See, we all heading to the grave from the moment we're born. But the cool thing about a relationship with God is when you step off the cliff and you got God, he a parachute. You still going down, but it's a nice ride. You guide and you glide and you softly, you enjoying, you look around, you smile and you meeting other people along the way. You, you, you floating over here to ski a little while. You over there at the beach for a little while. You mess around over here. You get to go out the country a little bit on your parachute and all that. And God just helps your, your descent appear more like a rise and more like a euphoric fall. Instead of not having no God in your life and you just walking off that cliff every day, free falling, ain't got no cord, you steady pulling, ah, you hollering the whole way because you messed around with yourself and ain't let God come into your life and provide a parachute for you. I would rather have a parachute since I got to jump every day than to not have one. God has been like a parachute for me. Ask me why, where that came from. I can't tell you, but like I always say, most good things that happen in my life that I can't explain, it's usually him.
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Wake up, wake up, wake up, rise and shine. Give yourself that stretch, that moaning, yawning. Sit on the edge of the bed, thank the man, and then you got to get up, get out, and get something. Good Thursday morning to everybody. It's Thursday. All right? We almost at the weekend. It is Thursday. All right? Uncle Steve was out, but me and the crew are here. That means Carla Farrell, Shirley Strawberry, Mississippi Monica, and the one and only Kia Junior Boy Spates. We are in the building holding it down, and we're going to rock and roll all morning long. Ignorant, crazy, stupid, and maybe a little bit. Sound like we got some sense. Yeah, when we find out we're doing that, we're going to get right back off of that. Get right off of that immediately. You going you gonna to have some sense today? No, no. Matter of fact, I need to make an announcement real quick. To all the parents out there and your, your kids play, they do extra curriculum. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm not doing that popcorn this year, okay? Stop. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. That, that, that good, good, whatever it is, I'm not doing this pop. Oh, I don't have no more room. I still got popcorn from last year. I don't have no more room for this popcorn. And I'm letting y'all know that now. Didn't we buy popcorn last year? Did I sell some too? Yes. Uh-huh. And your yeah, wife just yeah, bought yeah. some for my daughter. Yeah. So just be quiet. <laughs> what you and when do that <laughs> arrive? Because we don't have room for it. When do that arrive? <laughs> don't worry about it. Jackie already got hers. You know what? Focus on supporting the babies. Double good. <laughs> <laughs> then y'all got to start selling something else. I mean, they, surely they got something else other than popcorn. Y'all ought to popcorn switch it around. Good. Or something. Popcorn you know is good. About. Get something we really want around here, like a case of beer or something. Give us that. <laughs> <laughs> Some Share shoes. that to the, to the adults. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some. bag. <laughs> Oh, you know, okay. like, Ten it. pounds of sausage or something. Give me something I can be into. Some you know? some 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 goobas. That's what that's what I eat at the movies. Some goobas. That something. chocolate covered peanut. Give me half that. Man. <sighs> yummy, yummy. Any kind of snacks, huh? <laughs> Love that popcorn time. No, I didn't buy so much popcorn. And I got so much. I got so much popcorn, boy. Duh. They coming right to you first. You the first and one. Then, oh, I understand that. And, and then I had to switch planes. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, going to a gig in Chicago, and she made me bring her some more popcorn. I was Garrett. like, you know oh. what? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. But they yummy. be wrong how they get us, Tommy. They be wrong, man. They send man. that baby right over to you, and the baby look up. Would you just buy, buy me some popcorn? I'm going to start walking off on these kids. I ain't got no more money for popcorn. I'm going to start <laughs> walking off. I'm just going to start walking off. I can't It's I can't just a link. It. It's just yeah. a link. I know. I know. But, you know, when you go to the grocery store, who is that? Girl Scouts? See, I yeah. keep getting us with these cookies. I... Why don't y'all start selling some Got chicken wings, it. Carla? How about some chicken wings? Some all flats. Yeah. Get a like bag that. of them. <laughs> Yeah, I, can sell I like that too. I buy some wings. I ain't mad. Yeah. Lemon pepper. We got yeah. nice lemon pepper. I'll be cool, cool. Well, now that's y'all a good fundraiser. Sense. We get on. Yeah. Nice. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> Barbecue yeah. fundraiser. I love it. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever it takes. I like to support it. Right. Yes. We got to support them. We got Shirley, did you buy some popcorn from Carla? No, she didn't ask oh. me, but I bought some from you. Okay, that's how this got started. Yes. Uh oh. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. That that doesn't but, mean but it, it didn't could, happen. But it could be. It could be. <laughs> but you I got just eight, asked hey, I got, us to do yeah, something. Yeah, that doesn't mean it didn't happen just because you don't. I got eight exactly. cases of. I'm tired of this popcorn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up in 32 minutes after the hour, we will hear from the nephew yet again as he runs that prank back right after this. Popcorn here. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. It is time now for the nephew to run that prank back. Nephew, what you got? I got your doors. These is your doors. (laughs) Okay, let's go, cat dog. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Mr. Paul, please. Call Virginia Senior. Probably senior. Okay, this is me. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, my name is Mark. I'm actually calling from a uh, company called Doors. Are, are, are you at Are you at court? Yes, correct. You guys just built that home, right? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, like I said. My name is Mark Stevens. I'm actually calling from a uh, Doors. We're actually the company that uh, supplied the doors that are actually uh, throughout your house. Okay, great. Uh, what are you calling for? Follow up. Uh, no, this isn't a follow-up. Actually, we've uh, got a couple of glitches we want to try and get, get straightened out if we could. Uh, well, here's here's the problem, sir. The problem we're having is that the contractor that actually uh, built you all's home yes. uh, has not paid for the doors. You guys have been there two and a half months, and uh, we, we can't seem to get the uh, contractor to come in and pay for the doors. Okay, uh, so you tried to call them. 
We've tried to call him several times, and, okay. and we have not been able to what get What number do you have on him? Because if you don't have a good number, I can give you a number. Because I, I really don't have anything to do with that. In fact, how did you get my number? Well, actually, we had your number on file as, as the homeowner, and, and that's pretty much how we had you. But the problem we're facing here, sir, is we've tried to get this guy for the last couple months, and we can't get him. So actually what's what's going to happen here in the next day or so is we're probably going to have to come and get all the doors. Hold on, wait a second. Do what? We're, we're probably going to have to come and get all the doors in your house, take them off, and bring them back here to the plant until who, we who, get. Who's going to come get all my doors? We, we're going to have to get those doors until either we get a contractor or, you know, we get paid for the doors. Now, what could happen is you could pay for the doors. No, no, no. I already paid for the doors. That's, that's, that's past tense. I've done that. Paid. You're saying paying. That means I got to double back. Well, sir, but we haven't been paid, sir, for the doors as well. No, no, no. The contractor was paid for the doors. So that's who pays you. Okay. And and what I'm trying to explain to you, sir, we haven't been paid at all here at Doors. Now, when oh, we get paid, oh, oh. Okay. Well, at Doors, they should have received a check for my contract. Okay. And, and what I'm explaining to you, sir, is that that hasn't been done. I told her, since you have not been paid, you're going to come back and get my doors. Now, you said we. Now, who's all this? You and who are going to come Sir, and get my like, like, here's the problem here. Like no, I said, no, no, there ain't no problem. We're going we're gonna to resolve this very peacefully. But who, who is we? Okay, so what's taking place here at my job is they've taken this money out of my check that hasn't been paid for the doors. Oh, yes. I can understand that, but why would they take it out of your check? You did the man hours. You did, you've done your work. Why don't I understand that, sir, but since the company hasn't been paid, the company is taking it out on me, and it's not going to come down on me. So either I'm going to get the doors. Well, you need to quit your job because no, they need to give you a, uh, not just give you a bonus, but give you some hourly work because bottom line is you're talking about coming to get my doors. No, that's not going to happen. Either we resolve this peacefully as if you pay for it, or I come out and get the doors. And I'm not going to sit here and go back and well, forth. Yeah, you need to go ahead and come get these doors. Gas up. And come get these doors, because you're not going to come and get I'm not going to send you no money. Okay, sir, then, then then what we need to do is get a scheduled time where I can come out and get all the oh, doors. Oh, so I'm on your time. I'm sorry? I'm on your time now, so you got you must be paying me now since I'm on your time. What are you talking about? Because uh, well, you're talking about you're going to set up a time with me. That means I have to leave and do what I do to be meet you here to get something that don't belong to you, which is my door. Sir, you don't have to be there at all. Because oh, I'm going oh, no, to come here. in and take the front door off, and I'm going to keep keep moving through the house and get all the doors and get them back here to the plant. I don't think you hear yourself. Now, first and foremost, how you when you come to the front door, I'm going to be waiting on you as you as you. Take it off the latch. I'm going to be on your behind making sure you realize you're going to have to take this door or take this. And I'm, think, I'm pretty sure that will be coming to you when you get that first door. Sir, I can't keep going back and forth with you. Let me say this to you. I'm coming to get them doors, even if I got to take a whooping, because I got to get my money back from the company that they just took from me, because your damn contractor did not pay for the damn doors. Hey, you better hey, bring your, your tone down when you talk to me. You talk to a girl. Man, I, I'm going to put this on you. I am not going to allow you to come to my house and take these damn doors, and you ain't coming to get no money. Bottom I'm line. coming to get them doors, and I'm coming to get them today. I need every Come on door. now. What time are you coming? Because I want to be prepared when you come mess with these doors. Because I, I, I make sure, please, what, what time are you coming? Don't, don't worry about when I'm coming. You'll know when I'm there when I take the first door off the hands. Every door, we're going to meet at that door. I'm going to that and tell you what, I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you a dollar Whooping. Now take that check. You can make ten seventy five. Whooping or not, I'm gonna take that whooping if that's what it takes. But I gotta take these doors. I'll tell you what, so I'm get my I'll money what back, I need man. you to do. Next time, get your damn money. Stop. Get a job that pays you better for this whooping. You gonna get it and fed well. I'm not, no, sir. I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you about you whooping my. You gotta go back and forth. That is the end. Bring your over here, take that whooping, and take it on home. I'm take, but I'm bringing them doors yeah. too. Every door yeah. in that house. You should have been called a contractor. You should have been called a contractor. stealing doors from, door from, from my damn company. Now I'm telling you what you need to be calling him. He got your I'm money. I'm going to get every door you got in that Bring house. Bring me that number. I'll tell you what, you know what I'll do? I'll just wait yeah. till you go to work. Bring right me the number right week, now. I'll just come in there and get them doors while your ass is gone. Junior? Oh, wait, wait a second. Now, I just told you, you ain't coming to get no doors. I just got to tell you this. Junior, get it from your mama. Bring I'm coming to get them doors, and you know what else I'm coming to do? What? I'm coming to tell you who I am. You Do you know who I am? Yeah, more, I know who you are, so you want your 
myself, I make sure I introduce myself. You want to come get a door, man? Come get these doors, then. If you're that bad. That ain't, that ain't really who I am. Well, who are you? I am Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got prank phone call by your wife, Faye. Faye! That's why right, that's why right, she was bringing the damn number. Oh, you gonna get it when I get downstairs. <laughs> oh, man. Paul, what is the baddest, and I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> I was over here just praying, man. Faye, don't bring that number in now. <laughs> but all I heard was all this moving, so I'm thinking they're they looking for it, but they down there probably on the floor getting it. <laughs> and there you have it. Right. I'll be back in an hour. Stay Thank tuned. you, nephew. Coming up next, it is Ask the Riddle You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour in entertainment news, we'll talk about Diddy's late, latest legal developments. In the Jam Master J murder case, there is a guilty verdict. 50 Good. Cent and Ja Rule are still right, beefing, and Dion Warwick says Come Tayana on. Taylor is hitting all the right notes. We'll talk about all of these stories at the top of the hour, but right now it is time to ask the Riddolo, that is the Ready to Love officer, and Junior. Here we mm -hmm. go, guys. Missy in Indianapolis writes, My boyfriend and I just started having sex and is not how I imagined it would be. It's never face-to-face, -face, so I can't kiss him or make eye contact. He told mm -hmm. me I've been watching too many movies and this is real life. Am I asking for too much? He's he tired of looking at you, babe. He is tired of looking at you. He not, he, you know, he don't love you the way you love him. Let's just get, let's just be clear. Let's be completely clear. He don't love you like that. If you're not making eye contact, if y'all ain't face to face, you know, this is just really, we gon' we, we, we just, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to dance around it. But, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to dance around. That's what he doing. He dancing around. They need to break up. <laughs> For real. He don't want you like that, baby. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's all it is. <laughs> To him. What you got, Junior? Now, I'll just say this. You you know, you do have some control. In. You do not yeah. have to have sex with him. You do not have to do that. Right. But, Lord, you ought to be tired of looking at them pictures, that TV, <laughs> the lamps. <laughs> you see the outlets. That headboard. You see the every headboard. You see <laughs> closet doors. You see know. everything. Tupperware in the room. You just see that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, door handles. You just see it. You, you see everything but him. I said, that's a lot of stuff you looking at in there. <laughs> that comforter you got your hands on. It's just nothing. Yes. Nothing but him. I don't know. You don't have to have him. You don't have to do that with him. You don't have to. Right. Just find that's something else. Can she turn around? Can she no, turn I around? I mean, I'm just saying, you just, you just look at medication. You reading it. Oxycontin. <laughs> Penicillin, you just <laughs> rubbing alcohol, 10%, cell phone charges. You see everything in this room but him. Ah, oh, night too lights. Much. You just got night too much. Light. You just seen but him. It's way too much stuff you're looking at, but it ain't him, though. I love outlets. <laughs> you just can see it. You know, you're uh, yeah, just looking at yeah. too much stuff. It's just not, you know. They need to you know, random stuff, lint, phone numbers on, on pieces of paper, <laughs> letters, bills. Oh, bubble just, gum. Your oh, bubble gum, gum wrappers, gum. you know, bag uh, of chips, the chip clip. You just looking. The chip uh, clip? Yes. You know, he eat in the room. Come on now. All right. Oh. Okay, we're moving on. I hope you get their point, Missy, in Indianapolis. <laughs> Teresa in Lakeland says, my husband told me his friend got caught cheating and it was a big mess. I eventually called the wife to see how she's doing. She said my husband called to check on her too and she really mm. appreciates us. Why oh. didn't he mention that to me? Mm. Uh, uh. Hey. Okay. Call I'm again really and I promise you he gonna be over there. Call again. He gonna be over there <laughs> consoling her in a minute. Call again and check out. I promise you. Mm -hmm. I, and you got to be fine. Trust me, when a, when a man call to check on you, you is fine. <laughs> you <laughs> is fine, baby. Right. <laughs> and he coming over there to make sure you all right. Trust me. This is what Uncle Steve done already taught us. This is where you lie. This is the perfect <laughs> lying moment. <laughs> you got to get this off of you. Well, will he uh, say, though, a lot he does us? lie. Because yes. Why are you? Are you because he got the other guy got caught cheating and she said why you didn't tell me you called her what she said i called 
Uh, That's what you need to have that type of tone. Yeah, I, I. I ain't never called. He got called cheating. What I'm calling for? You see, Boys you gotta, gotta get that high. Yeah, it's okay. gotta get that high because you gotta get what? this off of you. <laughs> what? Do you when your boys get high? That mean you're lying, dog. Yes. 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 Marilyn said I called. <laughs> Me? When? Get the info. When? Tuesday. Girl, you know, get out till eight. I ain't calling no four. No. <laughs> I, you know, you, right, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know she's going through memory loss. You know that. You know that. Huh? <laughs> Get right. something out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on to uh, Fatima in Kansas City. Uh, Fatima says, my four-year-old son surprised me at 3 a.m. while I was having sex. The guy slid out of bed uh, so my son wouldn't see him. My son kept asking me why I get to sleep naked, but he has to sleep in pajamas. Will he ever forget this? <laughs> he didn't see the dude that slid off the bed. He slid off the bed, so he didn't see him. Ooh, that boy cold. He can slide. Uh, he cold. That boy, I ain't that boy cold. That, no, that boy, boy can slide. slide. Right I don't there. know who can slide naked ready. like that. He slid. That's pretty good right there. Now, now you talking to the baby, the man on the side of the bed naked, and he asking, and the four year old got control. He asking questions. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Now why we didn't whip his little hat all the way back to the other room? We can get out of there. <laughs> That's my thought. <laughs> yeah. Junior. She's naked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, four yeah. year old b- butt whooping while I'm naked. Yes. <laughs> what, what are you Wait. whooping him for? He just came in there. Because exactly. you didn't messed up something, Shirley. Yeah, now we got to start on. Him up. Uh-uh. Oh, <laughs> and we got to help this man get up off this ground that then slid on the side. <laughs> it was go. slid. Yeah. Thank you know. the baby for that. <laughs> it ain't the baby. All right. Not a, the baby will, forget it. The baby will he ever forget, forget this, Junior? Yeah, he'll forget yeah. it. Mm. But you know that man that slid that bed. Now he on the floor looking at outlets, <laughs> dresses, <laughs> hairboard <laughs> pillows, <laughs> medication, fingernail clippers. I love he just he just on the floor now. <laughs> Armoires. He looking at footstools. He just down there. <laughs> What's in these rooms? <laughs> Y'all need to clean up. <laughs> exactly. Everything in here. What is under that bed? <laughs> yeah. Shoe boxes. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Last one, guys. Daniel in Greensboro says, I'm the wealthiest person in my family, and unless they need money from me, they don't fool with me or invite me to family gatherings. My wife said to stop fooling with them, but it's family. Should I tell them how I feel or take my wife's advice? Which Your one? family don't care about how you feel at all. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll call you when we need some money. Other than that, don't nobody fool with you. They don't like you, though. They're, and they're ever since you got this little, ever since you got this little money, you change. You different. So all they do is use you for what they can, some money. Now, other than that, shut up. And they, your family don't care, and you can go over there with your wife advice if you want to. But it is what it is. And get ready to pay for the family reunion yeah. every year. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Get this shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you want. Right. We need four briskets. <laughs> That's yeah. what we need from you. His wife told him not to fool with them. And we need, yeah, we need the pavilion rented. We needed all of this. Right. Yeah, you can't be sit up here mad because you blessed. How does that work? You don't want to help nobody else be a, a bit. What? Put the no deposit way. down right yeah, now. Yeah, put your money. Hey, we we need you to buy these shirts for the family. Get these, <laughs> these Johnson T-shirts. Put With these branches on here. Yeah, we need branches on here. Family tree. Sitting up here, man. We can buy some time. Food with you. You got all this money. Right. You better buy this stuff for this family. I better see my auntie. I know I better see her. I better see her. Hey, get, some, get, hey, get a couple of hotel rooms while you at it. <laughs> We read it's it. Seventy five is seventy five dollars yeah. per person. <laughs> yeah. Mm, wow. that, inc- that, that includes the shirt, right, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Riddle. Thank you, Junior. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll have some entertainment news for you right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. There's been a whole bunch of developments in the wake of producer Lil Rod filing suit against Diddy for alleged uh, for alleged sexual assault. Speaking of Lil Rod, uh, it was discovered that he actually started a crowdfunding campaign a few weeks before filing suit, asking people to chip in to help him sue Diddy. Oddly enough, there was zero mention of sexual assault at that time. In addition, we heard about reality star and, C- and uh, producer Stevie J's name being tied to the case. Stevie J took to social media and posted a headline caption about the situation. He said, quote, I wasn't that guy the last time. I ain't never going to be that guy. I'm one of God's favorites. Don't play with my name. 
All right. An adult oh. film star called Mr. Knockout seems to have corroborated Steve, Stevie J's story, saying that he's he's actually the one in the freaky flick and not Stevie. Okay? <laughs> so he wanted to clear that up for Stevie J. Uh, Stevie J say it wasn't me. Uh-uh. Well, not me. <laughs> but, uh, Listen, I'm with me. God. <laughs> um, yeah. Nobody. So we just going to look over the name Mr. Knockout. Okay. <laughs> oh, we just going to run past that. Or, or Lil Rod. <laughs> just, just what is going saying. on with Diddy? Yes. Yeah. Golly, Diddy. Mm-hmm. It's old. Yeah. It's it's old. A whole lot of take that, take that. A lot of take that. Take that. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Man. All right. Also in uh, entertainment news, the, the two men accused of the 2002 murder of Run DMC's Gem Master J have been convicted. A federal jury in Brooklyn has returned a guilty verdict against his childhood friend, 59-year-old Ronald Washington, and his godson, 40-year-old Carl Jordan Jr. The two shot and killed Jay. His real name was Jason Mizell. He killed Jay. Uh, they killed Jay in a studio in Queens on October 30th of 2002. The crime went unsolved for nearly 20 years until arrests were made in 2021. That wow. was senseless, okay, man. man. That was yes. senseless. Yeah, Horrible. it really was. To just and walk for a in long there. time, it was unsolved. So yeah, I'm, no one I'm knew. glad justice for the mm-hmm. Mizell family. Finally for, been Oh, man. Mm-hmm. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah. I'm glad the case was solved. How many years has that been, Carl? It happened in 20, 2020, uh, 2002. Two. So what? Okay. what 22, 22, 22 years 22 ago. 22 years. Oh, my God. Years man. Yeah. All this time. All mm-hmm. this time. All right. Uh, also in uh, entertainment news, Deanne Warwick says that Tiana Taylor is hitting all the right notes as she prepares to portray Dion in an upcoming Hollywood biopic. Dion says uh, she tells Vibe that Tiana has done research out the yin yang, even commenting, she knows me better than I know myself now. Dion says her fans can expect a little bit of both. Her 2020. One documentary and her memoir, My Life as I See It, saying it'll tell us some of the escapades that I've been on and the results of it. So it's going to be quite interesting. I can't so. wait to see that. Yeah. Deanna Taylor hitting more than notes, baby. Ooh, she's hitting way more than notes. <laughs> I'm Meaning, sorry. he's gorgeous. The, um, <laughs> he, uh, uh, he looks presentable. <laughs> no, she's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, she really Woo! is. Great I body. think she's going to kill this yeah. one right Love yeah, her hair, everything about her. Yeah. But Dion, Dion should have known this movie was going to happen, though, didn't she? Well, yeah, Dion handpicked her to play her, too. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, never mind. What are you saying? You can say it. It's okay. The, ain't Dion psychic? Didn't she know this was going to happen? <laughs> I mean, she should have saw all this coming. She didn't do this. <laughs> you play too much. <laughs> all right. Finally, in entertainment news, when will 50 Cent stop when it comes to Ja Rule? Ja Rule was recently <laughs> never, denied never. entry he into not. the UK <laughs> for his upcoming tour due to his criminal record, and he is devastated. And now you know 50 Cent just had to comment, and he posted that he didn't have anything to do with this, okay? Then Ja responded, shut up, you blankety blank. <laughs> blank, blank, blank. You know, oh, when you went hard, you know, too, Ja Rule went hard. When you, when you ranking, when you start cussing, you know you're losing. You're losing. Yeah, That's all you yeah, know. You're mad. <laughs> you mad. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten under your skin for sure. I ain't seen nobody beat 50 yet. I'm sorry. He's undefeated. He's undefeated for sure. He's he undefeated. Had nothing. Uh-huh. <laughs> nothing to do but with But why this. you just out the blue? Who said <laughs> yeah. you had something to do with it? You know what? I had to I say had something, nothing. though. Because <laughs> he took him down when he came out, you know, oh, <laughs> all, all of the, that. All the disc records, all <laughs> yeah. the back in the day. He just won't <laughs> all let it all of that. go. Yeah. He can't Ooh, not see, let John ja Rule try to be great. <laughs> Look at that man. <laughs> but you know what? Look at the gonna... bright side. He got 50 states he can go to. He got 50 states. You can just go around America, you know. But why didn't they tell him that before? He got the whole tour together, and now they yeah. won't even let him in the country. Man. In, in the U.K. Because Ja did go to prison. Remember, it was some yeah. gun issues and tax mm-hmm. evasion. Mm-hmm. So, well, hang on. Well, you can, you can rest assured 50 going to be at, uh, he going to yeah. be at, 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 at Diddy's uh, <laughs> court. That's for sure. 
I had hear. nothing to do with this. <laughs> did he he tried to take me shopping, y'all. He tried to take me shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and what that mean, y'all? He tried to take me shopping, y'all. I'm just telling you now. That, that ain't right. <laughs> Man. <Wow. laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, wow. really. A mess. It's yeah. Like, um, just a mess. Beef. Yeah, it's a mess. Beef, yeah. What? I'm scared to wake up tomorrow and find out what Diddy did next. It's like next on Diddy. Mm. <laughs> you know, but this is really, I mean, these are some serious with, yeah. Yeah. allegations with, with Diddy. They really so. are. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they this keep is, coming. Yeah. This is kind of R. Kelly-ish. Man, Ooh. with the kind of charges that mm-hmm. this is. Yeah. It's like, what is going the, on? And once it's an ish, yeah. see, that, that lets you know. <laughs> the <laughs> adverb ish. <laughs> All right, guys, coming up in 20 minutes after the hour, why are leap years necessary? We'll talk about that right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so today is February 29th, leap day or leap year, which happens like every four years, right? So the question is, why do we even need leap year? Oh, that's simple, need? Shirley. That's uh-huh. simple. The lunar calendar, the lunar calendar uh, is from uh, every every. Was it every four years? The lunar calendar, we're one day ahead. So the, uh-huh. the, the Earth, hell if I know it, I just wanted to see if y'all were going to believe it. <laughs> I mean, you saw it. Y'all was, you you, 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 y'all you was leading. I don't you know. You had me for a minute. But you said, <laughs> yeah, Luna, I said well, wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> All right, look, this is according to Yahoo.com. It takes 365 days and about six hours for the Earth to orbit around the sun. Now, on our calendar, the number is rounded to just 365. To account for the six hours, we add an extra day almost every four years. So, so Junior, you kind of on to something. I was started. truly guessing. Uh-huh. No, that was <laughs> so it, though. You were on point. <laughs> <laughs> See well, who, there? Who, who, See there? Who back in the day Trust sat there and gut, counted Junior. all that? Who sat back in the day and counted all that? Who sat there for 365 Man, days and counted all that? Who did that? Who was that? Copernicus? Who Who was it? Somebody like that. Well, go on with your bad self. Somebody. I mean, I just remember I that from you, school. Didn't Caesar have something so, to do with some, this too? Somebody, yeah. Something. He was eating salad. <laughs> we also must sync up our calendars with the seasons. The extra six hours would shift seasons by about 24 calendar days within 100 years. If we stopped leap year, centuries from now, our um, descendants could be celebrating Christmas in July. We have to wow. give a special happy birthday shout out. Uh, there are about 5 million leaplings born on leap day. Which is and cool. how old so are they? You have a birthday every four years. Yeah. So you yeah. got. So you, you could be thirty, but really four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, you got right. a beard. You got exactly. a beard and a job, and you 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 working. So. Five. Five. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because if you were born in what two thousand, if you were born in two thousand, and this okay. is two thousand twenty four. Yeah. You would say you you look like you're 24, but you really six. Uh-huh. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have, have a birthday right? every four years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. What kind of ID were... they got? <laughs> so we have to celebrate their birthday on February 28th, then. Right, oh, no, on March first. Yeah, or March first. Oh, March first. Oh, March first. Because yeah. if you were born in 84, 1984, you would be 40 or right. 16. <laughs> I'm cool with I'll 16. I'll take 16, Alex. I'll take 16. Right, that's cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, happy leap year and happy leap day, everybody, who was born on this day. It only they should be partying today, the man. Huh? They should be yeah. going for it. Yeah. They should be really, going for it today. Really yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. Show Coming up in 34 they should be, minutes after they should the march. hour. Um, we're going to talk about what is something from the old days that you really, really miss and think should come back. We'll talk about it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to talk about. Remember back in the day when you loved something? Now it's no longer here. You miss it. From Polaroids to Walkman to landline phones. Oh, Remember just say landline Polaroid. phones? Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. all of that. Generation Z's love of nostalgia is bringing back old school tech. So I got to ask you guys, what what is something from the old days that you really really miss and think should come back? Mm. Hmm. Huh, let's hmm. see. Hmm. Hmm. What back about like what you got a phone? Ladies first. Phone booth. Phone, phone booth. booth? Mm-hmm. Boy. <laughs> 
I was on a phone booth, Sherry. Can you imagine how we used we to do that? Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did that. Phones. You know what I wish we could do, but it's just probably it's just not safe and it's never ever going to happen again. What? When what? someone would meet you at the gate at the airport. Oh, Wasn't that yeah. cool? Yeah. That was yeah, fun. Off the plane. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. Fun. Or if they yeah. could go on the plane. I mean, you know, just go on the plane yeah. with you and get off when they right before they close the doors and stuff. No, it's yeah. baggage claim now. Nope. I wish yeah. you would try to come to the <laughs> But for safety, no. I understand. But that's kind of like something. Uh, vinyl yeah. records. Remember the records? Mm-hmm. All that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Forty fives, baby. Forty five. Yeah. And yeah. the record player. The needle. Remember yeah. the needle? <laughs> All of that. Man. All I'm, of those I'm cool things. with a jukebox. Really? Oh, yeah, jukebox. Remember the jukebox? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 At the Pizza Hut? What? <laughs> I, I, at that the, was at your the Saturday pizza. night date. Yeah. One thing I, I missed, I'm not going to lie to you, my two-way mm-hmm. pager. Boy, I used to have a two-way Ooh. pager, mm-hmm. and you Come couldn't on. tell me nothing. When you hit me, I, I picked right on up, text back in the middle of a conversation. Hold on, dog, I'll be right back. Yeah, okay, I'll be, I'm over here now. All right, go ahead, finish. Because I had the two-way, you could you could flip it up, had a whole keyboard on it. This is way yep. before we had iPads. I this was just something. Uh-huh. You've never had a pa- uh-huh. you never oh, had a pager. Oh, I had a two way. Remember uh-huh. this though about the two way pager though. You would we would be in the club uh-huh. and you would be dancing and somebody would open a two way and you would put it next to each other. Oh yeah, and you get everybody contact. That? Mm-hmm. That's how you yep. got everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how you yep. got their numbers. That's but right. I don't know how sure they never had a pager. I before. never did. I what? never had a pager. I did. Oh yeah. But I had a phone in my car though. I did have a phone in my car. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> what kind of phone in your car? Remember the phone in the bag? Uh huh. In the bag? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't that. that phone yeah. in the bag was a beast, though. That was that was. But we thought it was, was big. <laughs> yeah. It was gigantic. Big cumbersome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I will say this about the whole Polaroid thing. So my daughter, she, they're into that. They're into mm-hmm. taking the they pictures and the and the camera and the Polaroids and all of that. I bought Sydney one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so they have pictures. Such cute colors now. Pink, pink, pink and, yeah, the, the lavender greens, the mm-hmm. uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are cute. I like all of those too. So, yeah. Let's I wish now. I could wear a shag again. I wish I could do that. I ain't gonna lie. I to know you. you do. I know <laughs> you do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hey, man. Junior, don't you say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing, dog. I know you did not bring that up, dog. I know you I'm didn't sorry. do that, man. I'm sorry. No, but, you know, what? we do have hairstyle, though. Remember, remember Hot Top Fade? I, I, yes. That's... Uh, woo. Well, Travis Kelsey started that. No, no. But, no not the Hot Top Fade. What? No. Had that. no, no. no hair. First one I know was oh. Terrence Fletcher started it at my school. <laughs> that's who started it. I was. Terrence Joe Fletcher. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> at my school... <laughs> I wanted the same thing. I still had my fro. Mm-hmm. The you know, you I, had it yeah. cut like kid, yeah. kid and been, play. Like kid, yeah, kid and play. Oh, ooh, yeah. that was high, 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 high. Yeah. I miss. Go ahead, Shirley. Oh, no, I was going to say because I haven't been in so long to the movies. I haven't okay, been I'm on the same to line. the movies all the time. I'm on the I same know, line. I used to go all the time, but I don't go that much anymore, huh? But I miss going to Blockbuster to get a movie. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah. You do you yeah. miss boy, that part of it? That was I don't my mind. first job. Pick up, pick up two, three. Yeah, because you, you you put some effort into it, you know. Yeah. But I hate that was was, I was always late. I was about, I yeah, think I was about twenty two thousand dollars on one day. <laughs> I'm like taking them back. <laughs> twenty two grand. <laughs> that was my first job. Boy. That blockbuster. Work yeah, work at Blockbuster. Working at the video store. That was my first job. Man, loved it. Wow. But, yeah, but I didn't care about you if you didn't rewind it. Then I was cool with you. I, I give me All right. just give me a dollar. I ain't gonna Coming talk about it. Guys. <laughs> I was a hug. <laughs> Nephew Tommy's prank phone call right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, he has clothes hidden everywhere. (laughs) Mm. We'll get into that, find out what that's Mm. all about uh, in just a few. Because right now, it is time for the nephew uh, with today's prank phone call. Nephew, what you got? Uh, Cheryl, it's about time we rob a bank. It's about that time. So let's... That's not what I do. What? We finna rob a bank. Just, just no. ride with me. Just, just ride me. We gonna get in this limo, mm-hmm. okay? We gonna get this limo driver to drive us to the bank. We gonna go in there and do what we gotta do. 
We're going to come back out. All the limo driver got to do is keep that car rolling. Keep it running. We'll be wow. right back out here. Okay, We're not going far. Bank We're not going <laughs> far in a <the> limo. <laughs> We're going far. Just limo bank job. Let's go, Kato. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm trying to get Cecil. Yeah, this Cecil. Hey, Cecil, Ma, one of my boys gave me your number, man. I'm trying to get a, uh, a car service for tonight. Okay, listen, this is my personal number. Do, do you have the, the, the main number? Man, I keep calling the main line, but ain't nobody answering. I done call that about six, seven times. They keep rolling over to like a, to a voicemail or something. Okay, okay, oh, okay, brother, what's your name? My name's Tony. Okay, listen, Tony, I got a customer in the back. Let me get them handled. Can you, you got a few moments? I'm at the yeah, drop you, off. Would, Let me get the door for them and all you that. You want me to call you back? back? Hold the phone, all right? Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Have a good evening. All right, Tony. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, now uh, you saying you called the main line and you just keep going to voicemail or something like I that? Keep calling the main line, but you know I, I know I'm calling at the last minute, dog. I'm trying to get a um, get a car for tonight, man. Okay, what you need? What, what, listen, we, we got a we got the SUV, we got a sedan or two, we got a couple of limos, white or black. What you need? If I could get a, I guess a, a, like a black limousine, be cool. Okay, we got that. We got that. What time? Where I'm picking you up? What time? What it costs, you know, for an hour? Because all I need is an hour. Where's it's sixty-five dollars an hour, but we only do three-hour minimum. The first three hours. Sixty-five. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, see, well, see, see, so all I need is an hour, man. Really, like forty-five minutes. So, do you think they'll work with me? Well, you can't get them. So you're dealing with me. I, uh, let me see. Let me. I tell you what. I, I'll do you for a hundred fifty dollars, and I'll take care of you. But now I'm, I want you to know, I'm going to let them know everything. So I got to have either credit card or receipt or something on the cash to let them know because I'm not no crooked brother. I'm going to let them know everything that I'm doing. Will that work for you? 150 I, I can give you 150 when you pick me up. That's no problem then. Where am I picking you up and at what time? All right, I'm at 98 Village Drive. 98 Village Drive. Okay, 98 And where am I taking you, sir? I'm going downtown on Capitol Street. Downtown the Capitol Street. All right. And what time am I picking you up? You could get me like at 11.45 at night. That would be good. 11.45. Okay. So that's 45 minutes. You have two and an hour you're going to need. 11.45. That makes it. 12.45. 12.30. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay. Good deal. Um, let me see. And uh, downtown Capitol, what? You didn't give me an address. I don't really know the address. I'm going to um to <laughs> Bank. Bank downtown, all right? Right. Um, can I ask you something, uh, uh, Tony, right? Um, yeah. I'm not trying to get in your business. and know we don't ask questions usually, but a, a bank at night is going to be closed. I mean, you, 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 you're you not going to work because I got to take you back. So you're dropping off to something, somebody, something like nah, that, No, no, no. I ain't dropping nothing off. I'm picking something up. See what, see, what I need you to do is this right here. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to be in there probably like about 15 minutes. But when I come out, man, I need you to have the car running, and we need to get... Out of there. Wait a minute. You you asking me to, to run you down to a bank at midnight, and you picking something up at midnight, and I got to be ready to go when you come out. Me and my boys, when we come out of there, just come, when, when we get it, when we get back in the back of the, the the limo, I need you to I need you to put the pedal down, man, and let's get out of there. Look here, young 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 brother. Well, how, how old are you, man? I'm 24. Yeah, that's what I figured. Look here, man. It sounds like you're into some kind of shady. I don't do that, brother. That that. Hey, I, hold I, on, I, hold I, on, I man, hold on, man. Yo, you a driver, dog. Your job is to drive. If you pick somebody up, first of all, you ain't supposed to be asking nobody where they going, what they doing. Your supposed to drive. Let me stop. So let me stop what you, I'm telling you is, man, once we come out let the me, bank, drive, drive. Let, let, let me stop you. That's why I'm driving. Instead of working somewhere else driving, because I was ignorant like you at one time. Now, let me tell you something, brother. I don't know your business and really don't care at this point in time. I'm not doing no crazy like this here. Brother, let me tell you something, man. What you need to do is get your young into some type of training school or something to find yourself a job. You gonna go down there and them gonna blow your brains out. Hey, 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 hey! I ain't really trying to hear all this right here. What I'm trying to do is pay you this 150. You drive me where I'm trying to go and you bring me back me to my apartment. Look, 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 brother, listen, you can't get right now. Not even no advice. You need to listen to me. That's what's wrong with you, young. Now y'all crazy. Get rich right all overnight type shit. Boy, you need to slow down because they got some shit. You feel me? They got hey some man, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. What you know? You don't know nothing. You don't know I me don't at all. I need to know so you, brother. You? Well, how you going to be preaching to me, dog? Because I've been there, man. I'm best on driving this limo because I've been there. Young brother, I'm trying to keep you from going there because you won't like it. Look at Tony, I don't know what to tell you at this point. First of all, I'm not doing it, so you can cut that out, okay? 
Now I'm thinking of you and all the other young brothers that do this dumb s***. You watch too many of them movies or something. Brother, you need to get your s*** straight because they got a place for you. Bro, let me tell you something. They read my mouth, I read it. Anything my mama told me, they didn't want me to know they cut it out. Do you feel me? They looked at me every night when they wanted to. Fed me garbage that I had to eat or die. You ain't ready for that, man. You ain't ready for why the s*** think he got your name. You brothers don't know what the going on out here. You got it too easy, see? Now you talking about going down there robbing the bank. You ain't no bank robber. You don't sound like no thug or with a limo. The way you going, you ain't making nothing because they will blow your young away about their paper. You don't understand that. And you so ain't ready for no jail. Can I say one more thing to you? That yeah, what is it? All I want to do is tell you this, that I'm nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. And your boy Cardell got me to prank phone call you. I don't give a who you are. If you around with them folks downtown, they're going to blow your well, they're going to give you 100 years under the jail. Did you, you, did, you, did, you, did you just hear what I just said, though? What, you said something about well, my partner. You know, I, I heard. No, 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 no. I said I'm nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Yo, boy, the other another driver, Cordell, got me to prank phone call you. If you tell me. <laughs> oh, you mean Steve Harvey on the radio? <laughs> no, man, no, no, no. This is, are you serious, man? Hey, Cecil, your boy Cordell got me to prank phone call you, man. Ooh, I'm going to get that. <laughs> I'm going to get that. <laughs> man, well, you lit my fire, man. Don't you know that? I'm in my fight mode. Fight with power. <laughs> He say, be careful. He say, Big C, so he been, he been down there. He done done some time. Uh, yeah, been there. Been there. All right, man. Calm down, baby. Calm down, man. I got one more question to ask you, man. What's the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> I won't say Nephew Tommy, but Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> I got you, baby. Me and your boy Cordell got you. Yeah, well, I'm going to get him. If I ever meet you, brother, I owe you one, too. <laughs> Play too much. Jail. Think, yeah, I think he <laughs> oh. play. Way too much. He was he was serious though. No, he was yeah. really serious, man. I've been down there. You don't want to go down there, young man. You think you want? You ain't doing nothing. Look at you, stupid already, trying to rob something in a limo. Hey, you, you ain't even thought this out with your little right. stupid self. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fooling you. Yes. Yep. Well, I have thought out Raleigh, North Carolina. I have thought that out, and I will be there. Tomorrow night, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the nephew is coming to Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. The nephew is coming. Find me a church I'm going to go to on Sunday. Then when I get to a church on Sunday, I'll do my 4 o'clock show. See how I get my praise on, and then I get my jokes on. You see how I do that? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's God what I'm talking first. about. <laughs> they <laughs> always right. laying in the cut. Laying in the cut. It's Richmond, Virginia. That is... 15th, 16th, and 17th of March. I have added, everything is sold out, so I added a Thursday night show on the 14th of March. That is Richmond, Virginia at the Funny Bone. And tickets are on sale for that Thursday right now. All right? All right, Richmond? All mine's clear. <laughs> yeah. Fool is coming to town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, nephew. Thank you. Coming up next, Strawberry Letter. The subject is, he has clothes hidden everywhere. Everywhere. We'll get into that, find out what that's all about right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. And you never know, it could be yours. You heard what she said. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, Strawberry Letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, he has clothes hidden everywhere. Dear Stephen Shirley, my boyfriend and I just moved in together and he had four months left on his lease, so he kept his furniture and a few personal items there until he completely moved out. It was our crash spot if the traffic was bad in the city. We'd stop by there and wait for the traffic to die down. Last week, he had wine, cheese and crackers and a jar of olives in the fridge. 
I asked who the snacks were for, and he said they were for us. We have never had wine and cheese together. It made me wonder if he had been entertaining someone else there. At that time, I could only get into the gate by calling him to let me in. I know the property manager, so I asked her for a remote control for the gate, and she gave it to me, no questions asked. I didn't tell my boyfriend I had the remote because I was getting more and more suspicious. He had taken a duffel bag of clothes out of our apartment one day, and he did not know I saw him. I snuck into his apartment on my lunch break to see if the duffel bag was there, and it was. It was on the side of the washing machine. I also found his laundry basket filled with clean underwear hidden under a comforter in his closet. There was a garment bag folded up in the top right corner of his closet with two suits in it. My iron that had mysteriously disappeared was there. I called him to proudly tell him what I found. He said there's a good reason, and he told me face to face. It's been two days, and he still hasn't said anything. Is he moving out, or is he cheating on me? Kind of sounds like he's slowly moving out, but we'll, we'll try and figure this one out, because cheese, crackers, and olives... And some wine that makes you do all of this. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand this. Are you mad because he's taking his stuff out of your place? Are you mad because you think he's moving out? I know that's what you asked us, but it sounds like you know something and you're mad. And, and it can't be you're mad at the snacks in the fridge because that that doesn't say cheating. Olives that, don't. It, yeah, huh? it's just food. <laughs> I eat olives every day. It's just food. There is really not enough evidence to judge what he's trying to do. But I do know that you're doing way too much. I mean, way too much. Getting the gate opener, uh, getting into his apartment unannounced. Wh- what are you doing? Uh, you look crazy doing all that stuff. I-, I don't think you guys are ready to move in together at all. You need to slow it yeah. down because you're running him away. And maybe that's what he wants to tell you uh, when he gets with you face to face. He hasn't said anything yet, but be prepared. Tommy. <sighs> Ladies, I don't understand y'all sometimes. I don't. And I think what bothers me is when you det- when you think something is happening, mm-hmm. you, you, get, you, you detect one small thing and you don't know how to wait. You don't know how to wait and just see what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You just immediately want to say, oh, yeah, I saw your clothes. I saw your clothes folded up and your drawers up underneath the comfort. I saw all of that. You know, I saw that, don't you? Y'all don't know how to wait. And just let it just all, oh, it's going to all fall out if it's if it's happening. But now y'all so quick to call somebody and say what you done found. I, this, this, this. You ain't found enough. If you're going to be a love detective, baby, you got to detect something. You ain't found nothing. Okay? You found some clothes folded up. You saw some wine, some cheese, some olives. What? What do that do? Is it some lipstick on the olives? What? 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 Don't forget What's, the crackers. And the, all that. But I don't see nothing that shows he had company. Nothing. I don't see nothing. So you jump in the gun so fast that, guess what? All you had to do was say, okay, mm, wine, olives, crackers, cheese. Mm. Okay, cool. Fold the drawers. Mm-hmm. Extra suit. <laughs> An iron he done stole from the house. It's over here, too. Okay. Now, let's just wait. Let's just wait and see what's finna happen. Give it another two, three weeks. But guess what? Y'all too impatient. You want to find out. If you're going to be doing some CSI, if you're going to detect something, move around. What's underneath that mattress? What's going on up under there? Let's see what's happening over there. Okay? Pull out the drawer in the bathroom. Ain't nothing Uh in the drawer, but look up under the drawer. Okay? Uh What's taped up under there? You you Mm -hmm. don't know how to look for nothing. All right? Take the back off that toilet. Look down in that water. See if there's something in there. What? But if you want to find something, you want to find something. You all of a sudden want to be CSI, love detective. You want to find it. Let's 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 get to looking for it. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. Look up in the sky. Take that globe off that light. What's in there? You don't know what's in there. Let's see. Let's see what's in there. Take the little dome off. Let's see what's happening. If you're really trying to find something, now let's get over to this refrigerator. Everything in there ain't meat. Okay. Right. Uh-huh. All right. You don't know what's in there for. Every, I, I, look, I got a little change in my freezer right now in case we hit hard times. You know, you don't know what's going Why are you on. Telling everybody that <laughs> they don't know where I stay. They <laughs> let's scratch that then, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> They're going to be all at the gate trying to get this yeah. little thousand dollars I got in the refrigerator. <laughs> right. <laughs> Better yet, I don't need my kids to hear it. What, what <laughs> daddy said, we got some money in the refrigerator. Lord, we got some money in the refrigerator. So, <laughs> so I think you jumped to conclusions too quickly. I think you should have waited. I think you should have, you found something, you should have held on to that and say, okay, I'm going to see where this goes. But now you wanted to jump the gun and call and tell him what, now you're not going to find out nothing at all. But that's, that's for you ladies out there to think y'all a detective and think you want to, you, you got something on your man. Oh, guess what I found? You ain't found nothing but some damn olives. That's it. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> olives, some crackers olives. and some wine. What? And some, what? What? Some cheese. All right, hang on, hang on. Uh, We'll come back with part two of today's Strawberry Letter. Uh, We're going to hear from Junior. The subject is he has clothes hidden everywhere. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. We're going to recap today's Strawberry Letter. The subject is he has clothes hidden everywhere. And first of all, the clothes aren't hidden everywhere. He just took them out of your apart- apartment and took them back to his own apartment. In a closet. That's not everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that clear. Um, this woman wrote in. She says she and her boyfriend just moved in together. Uh, uh, he had four months left on his lease. He kept furniture and a few personal items in his apartment until his lease ran out, until um, he completely moved out. Um, and that apartment was their crash spot. If traffic was too bad or something like that, they'd go over there, crash until traffic started moving. And then she said she looked in the refrigerator last week and he had some wine, cheese, crackers, and some olives in there. And she asked who the snacks were for, and he said they were for them. And she said, well, he's never, you know, given me crackers and cheese and olives and wine before. So she immediately suspected that perhaps he was cheating. Um, so she wanted to go and find out. She knew the property manager. She got his gate opener. She went in in his apartment without him knowing, looked through all of his things. She found this duffel bag that he took out of the, the apartment with clothes in it. And she's just thinking all kinds of stuff that he's cheating. Is he moving out? What is, what is he doing here? But she doesn't have anything to go on. He found olives and draws. Yeah. (laughs) What is that? (laughs) Also a garment bag folded up in the right corner of his closet. Okay. With two suits in it and the iron that she had that had mysteriously disappeared from her house. So she's saying, uh, she asked him about it and he just said, there's a good reason. And he would tell her face to face, but he hasn't said anything yet. So she wants to know, is he moving out or is he cheating on her? And we don't know. (laughs) Nothing in this letter says either. All right. Junior, what you got? Uh, you know, I I don't know if he's cheating or if he's moving out, but mm-hmm. I clearly know what I'm talking to somebody who's never played hide and go seek. I know that because everything <laughs> in this house is right in the open. You you don't know how to play hide and go seek. See, that means somebody go hide and you have to go find them. Uh-huh. Now, if you would have said, I found the, uh, what is the olives, the cheese and crackers. If and you the found them in the oven, you got something. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the fridge. But they was in the refrigerator where they yeah. go. I, that, the duffel bag was right there in plain sight. Now, if right. you found it and looked up and saw it on the ceiling fan, we working with something. <laughs> but everything you found yes. is right in the open. Uh-huh. He had a basket full of clean underwear. What? Yeah. In a the basket laundry full room. Of, yeah, yeah, in the laundry room. But if you had hit him in that tub and pulled that curtain, we working with something. In the shower. <laughs> yes. You might have something. Yeah, if, he if he had that garment bag and that comforter, if mm-hmm. he had that uh-huh. behind that hot water heater in every apartment, <laughs> then you're working with something. <laughs> oh, but you clearly have never played hide and go see. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You mad at a man for keeping his stuff where it is. You don't know why he needs the two suits. He may have a business meeting. Right. He may have something he has something to do in the city. You said he always stopped over there. Maybe mm-hmm. when y'all was crashing over there, you could have got you some olives, some cheese, and some crackers. But no, you messed that up. <laughs> Miss everything's oh out in the open. <laughs> you That's can't. one of my favorite snacks, though. But I'm mad all I don't even know all that. of that. Yeah, but here's a question for me. Where do you keep your stuff at? <laughs> over in your apartment. Um, Where's your garment bag at? 
in, in the, the closet. closet. Mm-hmm. Where, Where your suit's at? In the closet. Mm-hmm. Where's your clean underwear at? In the basket? In the laundry room? Yes. So why is we over here tripping? <laughs> she is. Too yeah, much. why? There's not a lot of clothes here. Clearly, he got two suits. Two suits is a lot? <laughs> two suits? <laughs> and not over there. Where's he going with the same two suits? They the same what? two suits. He ain't changing them out. Yeah. He just got two suits. Mm-mm-mm-mm. God, come on, lady. Work yeah. with me. She's I much. mean, you know, Sherlock Holmes would be very disappointed in you with this here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't <laughs> you're like, what? What is you doing? So no, I, I don't. We don't know if he's cheating on you. We don't know if he's leaving. No. But we clearly know you don't know what's hidden. Look like. Mm-hmm. You never found a hidden room or nothing before, have you? You never found a, a hidden I'd Easter leave egg. This. Yeah, she, she ain't never oh, found she a never hidden had an Easter egg. Thought. Yeah, she never found a Easter egg because they weren't out in the open. They was hidden. <laughs> oh, she was just frustrated at Easter egg hunt. Oh, it's coming up too, and you gonna have another Easter egg hunt. You gonna be mad as hell. Everybody cracking eggs, but you. Oh. She the worst. Right. Can't hide nothing. Yeah, he had no. clothes hidden everywhere. What? No, no. <laughs> I, I yeah. What does it matter? Yeah, this is this is crazy. She's gonna lose him if she keeps this up. She yeah, really he done lost him. Yeah, it's it's right. yeah. You're right. I agree. When she made that, that call. When mm-hmm. she made that call, that's yeah. it. Proudly. Yeah, no man hanging around for that. Yeah, man. proudly. She proudly. Told I proudly told him, guess what? I found your clean underwear in the basket in the laundry room. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now. How you not no, me now? Not, huh? not no ladies' underwear. No. Uh, uh, right. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> you think you're going to pull one over me? Over here, you know what I found? Wine, you know what I found? Wine and cheese and <laughs> I olives found in the crackers, fridge. Wine and cheese and olives in the refrigerator. Right. Who you think you are, Mister? <laughs> Who you think you doing? <laughs> Who you think you is? Oh, 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 that ain't all. Place. Oh, you thought you hid them garment bags in that closet? I looked right at it, found them. Saw. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you, guys. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. And check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on the free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. You can download it today. Now, coming up at 46 minutes after the hour, Junior will be here with Sports Talk right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he is here, Junior, in Sports Talk. What you got, Junior? All right, Shirley, call the Tommy Luke, man. Today it starts, man. It starts today. What's, What's that? Today? The NFL Combine starts today. Ooh. Boy, they going for jobs today. Ah, oh, it starts today. We got the linebackers, wide receivers, offensive linemen, linebackers, DBs doing their best. But you know what I found odd oh, though this year? You know, it's not really odd, but you just know it's been so long since this happened, but Michigan got the most players that were invited to the combine. Texas had 13. Alabama had 11. What about Georgia? Uh, Georgia, they were like 13. So, you know, it's like, it's different Florida. when another team. Florida, I didn't see Florida. I, I didn't look down at Florida. But I think it's different when you have a different national championship, a national mm-hmm. champion. Mm-hmm. They going to get the most players. Everybody's looking at them. What's up, Tommy? What about LSU? What about LSU? Uh, yeah, they had, yeah, because they quarterback. The quarterback for LSU. He's up there, man, and the wide receiver. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, who was your favorite part of the uh, NFL combine? That 40. The 40, that 40. Yeah, the race. Okay. The 40. Even I, would, what, I know that. Yeah, but I'm saying, but what group is your favorite? No, it's fun to watch them linemen run that 40. That's what I was getting to, Tommy. I want I want I want the linemen. I like the linemen when they run the 40, cause I don't want to see nobody running the 42 and all that. Yeah, all that's nice, but I can't do it. I gotta watch people I can identify with. I can identify with a lineman. I can't identify with no running back. No, no but there's some linemen here. moving though, though. They move. Man, there's some linemen moving. But they got they got some DNs, man, running four fours, four twos. Ooh. So it's going to be fun to watch t- um, today, man. I'm going to watch all weekend. I'm going to see what happens because, uh, you know, this is going to determine a lot because the draft is next month. So we're going to see what happens. I, I like watching it because of the college. I love watching these right. college boys go for these jobs, their dream jobs mm-hmm. and wanting to be in the NFL. So it's it's interesting yeah. to watch. But it is. But it's different this year because, you know, you know, because of NIL, you know, they come to the mm-hmm. coming mm-hmm. to the combine a little different. You oh know. yeah, coming in with with a few million yeah. dollars in there. Yeah, you got some you money. got five million already. You ain't finna just talk to me no any kind of way, coach. Right. <laughs> I, I got more money now. than you. Yeah, I got a check now. 
Yeah. I don't know why you sit up here asking me when, when I'm going to start. I start when I'm ready to start. I ain't ready right now. <laughs> got too much money. They, 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 but these boys are in college making this type of money. And now they're going to the NFL to make some more money on top of that. That's going to be good money. to see. I'm excited to that watch come, it. That combine, that's, that's a dream come true, man. Mm, that's what I said. It's a dream job for them. It's that's, a dream yeah. job. That's, it's yeah. a dream invitation. Um, they, you know, they've been going all week because they have meetings all week long. And then on Thursday, that's when they start from Thursday to Sunday. They start doing the combine. It's only 321 players that get invited to the combine this year, and you have to be one of the 321 out of all the players in college football. That's amazing. That's all right, Junior. Thank you. Coming up at the top of the hour, a man on social media needs some advice. He says his wife wants to fire the babysitter because she's hot. Uh, yeah. We'll, he didn't tell we'll you now. He tried. He we'll tried. talk about it right after this. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Jerry on Facebook says, I think I have to fire our babysitter. He needs some advice, guys. He says, and it's all porn's fault. Recently, my wife and I have gotten into a really nice habit of using porn to help us get in the mood. It's been fun discovering what she's into and having us discover more about each other. The downside is she sees how much quote, babysitter porn is out there, and I guess it's made her realize how hot the babysitter we use is. I don't know if she Mm. thinks I'm going to take a shot at her like they do in porn, or maybe she's worried that she will. I just know that it sucks that I have to take someone's job away because of how attractive they are. Either way, my wife wants her out of the picture. Is there more to this than I'm seeing? Uh Uh-uh. Uh uh-uh, uh, and you don't need to be you don't need to be fighting this. You need to get this fine ass babysitter out your house right now. You got mm-hmm. to fire her because she's yeah. cute. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you done watched all this porn with these babysitters. So, sooner or later, it's gonna click. So stop. Yeah, and she fine, fine. Temptation. Good God Almighty. Get that out of your house. I could. I can assure you, partner. I can assure you, you're gonna try. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ooh. You know the porn plot to the movie. Man. <laughs> right. You know it ain't really no plot to it. This <laughs> oh, wait. So I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> so I've Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I, I heard. That's what I heard. There was no plot, and Carla just heard about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody had told me. Somebody had told me that. Whatever your wife wants, make her happy. I'm telling you, get that lady out your house. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she Maybe, has to uh, so no, one of your she friends will hire her or something. Yeah, she got to go. I don't care. She is fine. She got to go. Uh-huh. But that next baby titty better have a front tooth missing. That's what you need. And then that. You need that one. <laughs> but you can't have this fine one in here. She has to go. But that next ba- that next baby titty, you should be. When she smile, you better see a tonsil. You, you can't have. You can't have. Nobody in there. No. Uh, you All right. Fire her or lose your marriage. Fine don't else? work. Fine do not work. <laughs> All right, we have time for another one, guys. Sherry on uh, Steve Harvey FM writes, Last week, I was eating at a local cafe and saw a friend having lunch with the college-age son of another of our friends. I thought it was a bit weird, but I didn't think too much of it until I saw them share a very intimate kiss before they left. Now I'm debating whether or not I should tell my friend that her son is dating one of our 40-something friends. Do I just keep this to myself or tell my friend? This ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> oh, it's telling. They're all Eat friends. your food and carry your butt on back to your house. This ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> to work. <laughs> oh, people don't know how to mind their business. Mm-hmm. You can't even... You can't even grow up and date an older woman. I found somebody getting all in the middle of you. <laughs> well, is she thinking this is too close to home or something? It, what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Now, they do need to find another place to get them something to eat at, evidently. Yeah. Because evidently, they, they need to get on the other side of town with this because this, this this is too close. They're all out in the open with it, though, so maybe they don't care. Mm-hmm. No. I know you what know, You don't think she should say anything? No. No, Carla, nothing. you know that no. woman can't say nothing about this here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why? He's feeding wrong. the boy at Applebee's. Let the boy eat and get a little kiss. Carla, good God. <laughs> People don't get to live. Everybody no eats good in the neighborhood. I mean, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. Don't even li- it's son. I- Okay, well, say something to your son. Don't say nothing to your friend then. Okay, yeah, I saw you. I saw you. I saw you with my friend. 
That's all you got to okay. say. But what? What? But why she's going to tell the son's mom, who's a friend, right there. Uh, that I saw your talking. son with one of our yeah. friends, and yeah. they kissed at Applebee's. Uh-huh. Why Intimately, would you, tongue oh, at Applebee's. Why would you want to tell that though? But he's in college and she's forty something. What that she has to do with that is his mom? She has to be his mama, and so <laughs> that's mama. what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> You old enough to be his cougar. <laughs> That's what I am looking for. <laughs> All right. But quit right, going guys. where everybody know your name, okay? <laughs> Cheers. <Much. laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, we'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show coming up at 20 minutes after, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so DJ Khaled is getting clowned after his bodyguards had to carry him rather than him risk messing up his ultra-rare, unreleased Jordans. Did you guys see that? I saw that, and I thought uh-huh. it was crazy. I Khaled posted the clip to his Instagram earlier this week while promoting his upcoming album. In the clip, he is heard saying, I don't want to get my Jordans dirty. Can every can I get everybody to help me or can I get anyone to help me? Can't mess up my J's. Can't mess up the J's. While his guards accommodated the request, carrying him from the car over uh, sand and to the stage, it seems his attempt to flex backfired. People are saying he needs to get off his high horse. But he didn't want to mess yeah, up his shoes. I thought it was a bit much. That was just me, though. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a bit much. And DJ uh, Khaled I feel for them, I feel for them boys trying to oh. carry his yeah, ass all the yeah, way yeah, across the street. A bit. <laughs> He's not a small man. No. No. Take, take your shoes off like everybody else do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah uh, just put them in the car and go on in. Because you yeah. shouldn't have worn them. It's what you shouldn't have did. You shouldn't have worn them. He must don't have no good pedicure. Maybe that's what it was. He just didn't oh, want to take no. his well, shoes off. Well, he of course, he had mess up his socks, socks, right? He didn't want to mess up his eyes. Nobody. But yeah, take them off, right? Carla, and walk in the sand and put them on when you get to the stage. Right. Yeah. Well, if I have as much money as DJ Khaled, sneak okay. alert, pick me up uh, <laughs> and okay. carry me across. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> they were struggling. <laughs> they were. Ooh. That is not All right, guys, job coming up in 33 me. minutes <laughs> what? after the hour, we'll play a round of Would You Rather right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, here we go with a round of Would You Rather. Would you rather put your hand inside a hornet's nest or kick a sleeping bear? I'm not kicking that bear. I'm going to get no. bit up by them hornets, though. No, unless, unless, take unless, you some Benadryl. <clears throat> be on, yeah. You know? yeah. All that. But we're not fooling with this bear, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> the only bear I will kick is uh-huh. either Smokey the Bear. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, Wendy the Pooh. Wendy the Pooh. Kick <laughs> Other than that, I'm just in this hornet's nest. But no, right. kicking right. no sleeping back. All right. Would you would you rather be the only person drunk at a party or would you rather be the only person sober at a party? Oh, huh. B. Damn. B. Why is B? Ain't now one of them fun, though. <laughs> I think not. Not now hey, one of them. You go uh, to they the both to the extreme. Fun. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> but which one? I would rather be sober so I can see. Yeah. I can watch. Yeah. You can watch. People yeah. watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Would you rather get a tattoo of your spouse's name on your body or would you rather get a piercing on your body of their choice? I just gonna oh, put no, my wife's right. name up here. Uh-uh. I just get your name. You ain't piercing yeah. me nowhere. Nah. <laughs> if it ain't oh, earrings, still. we, uh-huh. we, we do yeah. earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> and she get to choose where 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 you pick. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-mm. Nah. Nah. Well, all right. Well, why you Cause dropping? Because y'all, I come to work and be like, Jay, your shirt look different. <laughs> 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 antibiotic, Junior. What's going on? Would you rather date someone who's very similar to you, or would you rather date someone who is the complete opposite? Opposite to track. Probably the opposite. Yeah, B. That's, yeah, because really? opposite. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm tired of me. I don't yeah, want you to me. I can't talk to me. I what can't do that. What do you guys that? have in common, though? Uh, I don't know. It's How would you everything. get along? We can't. I don't know. But I'd, rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather explore that than explore the person that's like me. That's very similar to you. Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh-uh. Would you rather have threesomes with your partner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or would you rather only have sex with your partner once every two months? 
Oh, no, we finna get this threes. <laughs> Be we, we, we finna Think get to move around around here. We finna get to move around around here. <laughs> Once every two months? That's uh, hey. not enough. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You, that's Keisha. Right. You met Keisha? That's Keisha. Cool. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean. And tomorrow. Who's coming over tomorrow, Tommy? Laverne. Hey, Laverne. Yeah, Laverne. Laverne. Holy Laverne. shit. Laverne. I'm, sc- I'm scared to ask. He's 60. Man. I can't say <laughs> Uh-uh. Junior, come on! I can't. I, I'm scared because um, I'm already on B. Hell, I don't know why. <laughs> why the hell I say A and she listening? Why would I do that? Okay. Thanks, guys. That's today's round of Would You Rather. <laughs> Coming up, it is our last break of the day, and we will close out the show right after this. I see why you stressed. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Here we are, guys. Last break of the day on this Wednesday. Uh, earlier in the morning uh, today, we had a, a discussion about what would what do you miss about back in the day? We had it then, but we don't have it anymore, like Polaroids, Walkman, um, two-way you know, pages, vinyl yeah, records. All of, yeah, all of all that, that stuff. stuff. Mm-hmm. So what do you miss what? now, Tommy? You, you I miss that. that cassette tape, though. I really do. That cassette do? tape was a beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what you I hated it. about it, though? <laughs> when you would take it out and it would mess up and you had to... If you don't get that number two, yeah, 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 yeah. turn it. Oh, what? what? That's what? what I don't miss. Mm-hmm. What about <laughs> you, Junior? Ah, oh, man. I'm going to tell you what I miss. My Walkman. Boy, you couldn't tell me nothing. I had that walk when you see me. Oh, I had to put my fingers and hold, hold on. Just to stop it. Hold on. I'm coming. I what you say? Because you had to stop your walk. Man. That's it. Yeah. Oh, clunk, yeah. clunk. Yeah. yeah. Clunk. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I miss a walk. Tommy, you said it's, earlier it's, it's, you missed the It's two chat. cars. It's two cars uh, that I missed that I didn't get a chance to experience. Uh-huh. Okay. What? That Prelude. That Prelude was cold. Oh, the Honda Prelude? Uh-huh. That Honda, Honda Prelude, 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 man. Yeah, everybody wanted one of those. Oh, uh, I wanted one of them things right there. Two cars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And man. then... What's, what's what? the other one? That Maxima. Baby with the gold <laughs> BBSs. You <laughs> to talk about that Maxima. Maxima. Yes, everybody wanted that box Maxima. With that the box dome. Maxima, boy. Yes, yes. Do they still make those? They still make them? No, they're, not they're like not that. No. Oh, not like that. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. no. But wow. yeah, that was the car. <laughs> what about uh, the Celica? Remember, everybody wanted a Celica. Uh, 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 Remember the Supras? Oh, oh Supra. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. I forgot oh, about man. the yeah. Super for real. Yeah. Now, you know what else was fly? What? Acura Legend was fly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that, you had made yeah, it. Yeah, when that end, first though. came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you Acura made it if you had an Acura Legend. <laughs> what? What? Uh-huh. Let me tell you, it was when different. You no one else had that. It was different. No, they didn't. Mm-hmm. You made it if you had an Acura Legend, if you had a Navigator, not an Expedition, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, the, the Navigator, navigator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and if you had um, any any BMW car, mm-hmm. any one of them, mm-hmm. the ultimate yeah. 318 5 Series. <laughs> <laughs> Who you knew had a five? <laughs> That's it. Oh, I knew someone. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Have it. As I got older, though, I did have a seven forty-five. I, 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 I called it a quarter to eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah one I called it a quarter, yeah, to, quarter eight. to eight. <laughs> you know, that was my you favorite said, car by BMW too. That's uh-huh, that was yeah, a yeah, nice boy. car. It was big. It was mm-hmm. smooth driving. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you tell me who else? Is- Huh. I would say, you know what else they need? I wish they bring back what? them crown royal bags on them stick shifts. <laughs> 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 them old school players had crown royal bags on that stick shift with that change in it. <laughs> with that change yes. in it, yes. yes, you needed that. So change. you could pull over and use the paper. Right, yes. right. Oh, the or the car paper. wash. Oh, oh, the, oh. the car wash. Man, yeah. yeah. Oh, the ah. car wash. Man. Know what you're saying, Shirley? Oh, no, I was saying earlier, you said you missed your shag. The oh, shag hairstyle. Shag. Oh, yeah. Okay. Low on the top, long in the back. Boy, I was cold. You couldn't tell me nothing. Oh, you every talking about shag. Every now and then I get a part, too. Boy, put a part in there. What? I can't imagine what? you in a shag. Yeah. Tell how old was you when you had the shag? How old was you then? Oh, man. 16, 17. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Sure. With a with oh, a yeah. with a Izod shirt on, boy, you couldn't tell me nothing. Tell you nothing. <laughs> oh, boy, you had all the latees. <laughs> Man, <All right. laughs> wow. So your bow jeans, Lord. <laughs> awesome, awesome Jordan ass jeans. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And for the girls, the the uh, Ooh, chic, yeah. chic. Boy, yeah. when them girls put them. When a black woman put them chic jeans on, Lord, yeah. today. Wait a minute. Hey, my mama put a pair of chic jeans. I got to ask Carla and Shirley, I got to ask y'all this. Yes. Did y'all have the hair dudes like salt and pepper? Mm-hmm. No, Monica oh, did. Monica, Monica, you had Monica. Yeah, Monica did. I had, I, I had short at the top and long at the bottom. I did have that. Too. I did oh, have flip. that. I had the flip, mm, the and, flip. Then the, mm-hmm. uh, and then oh, under. Man. But my hair wasn't <laughs> that long. Yeah, uh, yeah, about shoulder. Yeah, but y'all put them, y'all put them curling irons to work back then, boy. Them curling irons oh, yeah. was good. Yeah, work. Yeah. So y'all didn't yeah. have no Jerry curl. I was the only one. I had a Jerry. How you think no. he got that? I, did, I had, had a, I had a relaxer, a relaxer. <laughs> you mean a texturizer? You Jerry you curl. Texturizer. Mm. He said a relaxer. Did you all ever have a Jerry curl though? For real? I, I did not. I, I did not. Yeah. You did. But I had plenty. I was in the sixth grade, I think. Yeah, sixth grade. Really? We well, got a young curl. Oh, yeah. man. Curl. I was in oh, sixth grade. Wow. Yeah. When I had my, mm. No, I didn't have my one. Mama couldn't but... do nothing with my hair. <laughs> my mom did hair, so. Yeah. My mom. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ooh, she put a chemical I did, in my I hair? Didn't, no, ma'am. I didn't have one, but I had plenty of family members that did have a Jerry Curl. Oh, yeah. We had so many tiles laced across the back of that, <laughs> that sofa. That sofa. You, you better not That's put so... your head back. <laughs> I do miss this, though. What? I miss... The fragrance of Lagrafel cologne. Oh, Lagrafel. Uh, oh, right. Lagrafel was Lagerfeld. cold. Mm-hmm. Polo in the green bottle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The polo. Yeah. All those, all those guys. <laughs> oh, man. That. Monica just sent us a picture of her with her. We have her shag. And flip. Her salt and pepper juice. Oh, there it is right there. Uh-huh. Oh, we posting this. You should we post posting that. This. Yeah, you Mon- should post that, Monica. That's you? <laughs> Come on, no, Mississippi. No, no, no. <laughs> well, oh, I'll tell man. you, I'm not posting the curl. Uh-uh. 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 Or my flip. <laughs> Short in the, in the top, long in the back. No. I'll do the flip, because that was oh. on my prime right. picture. But that was the fun. Curl. That's home, just Tommy. All right, that is. This is Steve Harvey Morning Show, y'all. In the words of my uncle, talk to God. He would love to hear from you. Until tomorrow, y'all be in peace. And think about them jelly beans. Remember them shoes you used to wear called jelly beans? For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 